Hello, beautiful ladies. Uh, it's another beautiful day to come, be able to come before you. And um, I just want to come before you and just to do something that we need to do more of. Um, one of the things in order to grow, in order to um, truly move forward in God, one of the things that is very necessary besides studying and reading His Word is worship. Um, we are built, we are created to worship God. Uh, it doesn't matter what we're going through. It doesn't matter what's going on in our lives. Um, it doesn't matter if it's good or bad. We are to praise God. We are to lift up His holy name. And so if you are going through or if you wonder why you don't feel His presence as much, if you wonder why uh, you can't tap into and to hear Him speak to you um, as others have told you that they have heard God speak to them, one of the things that you have to do uh, is crucial. It is very intricate in this Christian journey is worship. And I'm not just saying just on Sunday mornings where you go and you get dressed up and you sit on the pew and you just praise for a little while. But I mean actually through the week, getting into your prayer closets, uh, closing the door in your rooms, even if you have to go to the bathroom, uh, and just putting on some worship music and just glorifying his holy name to thank him in advance for what you've been praying for even if you haven't seen it yet uh, to, to pray for God moving in your family and, and mending and healing some things um, that you haven't seen him do yet but it's, it's an advance because you know that he's going to do it you know that he's going to come through you know that he hears your prayers uh, you know that his promises are true and that he is not like man that he should lie but that he will indeed come through on your behalf and so it is so necessary if you have not praised him if you have not lifted up your hands if you felt awkward if you felt as if people were looking at you at church if you don't know how to do it even if you have to close your eyes and just to begin to imagine his goodness to begin to imagine all that he's done for you all that he saved you from all that he's kept you from danger seen and unseen all that he continues to do in your life even though we are not worthy of it all that he continues to set up for you for blessings to bless you to pull you out of things that you got yourself into that we got ourselves into and he continues to be there just like with the prodigal son when we want what we want our inheritance uh, our blessings and to go out and to spend them on our own pleasures but then we get caught back up into the woes and the lows of life and we begin to feel the pressures we begin to feel the pain of it all and we begin to recognize again why we need a savior that you come crawling back that we come crawling back again and he's there with his arms outstretched ready to receive us yet again that is enough to praise him to lift up holy hands to tell him thank you god so right now where you are i know it's sunday I, I, and and maybe when you get this message it'll be through the week or whenever you hear it whatever the day it is i want you to reflect back on the goodness of god what he brought you out of what he healed you from what he's taking you to the promises that he has spoken over you through someone else telling you or what he has spoken in your own hearing uh, all that God has done for you when from the time that you were young even up until the time that you are at the age you are now uh, to praise him uh, as a matter of fact again we have been created to worship God and even though it has to take us to get into that spirit of worship um, but we have been built we have been created and the more we do it the more we hunger for it the more we long for it the more we feel good in doing it uh, it, it feels good to roll off of our tongues that worship that praise uh, to extol his name to lift him up to magnify him and to tell him how awesome he is it feels good it feels natural and even though we have to work at it sometimes even though when others uh, we are going through in life and we are feeling the strain and the, the pressure of it, the weight of it all, and we don't feel like it, that's the time to get into your prayer closets and to force yourself to lift up your hands and to say, thank you, God. Even if you have to kind of think about what you need to thank him for, to bring back to your remembrance all that he has done for you, it is so necessary because the enemy wants you to forget. 
He doesn't want you to praise him. He definitely doesn't want you to praise him in advance for what you've been praying for. But we know that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. And so we are praising him because in faith we believe that he will answer our prayer. We believe that he will move on our behalf. We believe that he hears us enough, that he cares about us enough, that he will cut out and hone out a path for us to travel, uh, that he will protect us from the hand of the enemy, that he will do what his word says that he will do. I want to read to you Psalms, uh, a part of Psalms 148. And it says, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all his angels. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all stars of light. Praise him, highest heavens and the waters that are above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he commanded and they were created. He has also established them forever and ever. He has made a decree which will not pass away. Praise him. And then we go on to verse 13. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For his name alone is exalted. His glory is above earth and heaven. He has lifted up a horn for his people. Praise for all his godly ones. Even for the sons of Israel. A people near to him. Praise the Lord. And so we are to praise him. So right where you are. If you're in your car driving just to close your or don't close your eyes but to in yourself if you have to say it out loud roll up your windows if you don't want others to hear you or if you don't care what others are saying and hope that maybe it will catch fire to those who are beside you amen but I just want you to right where you are to begin to just praise God to glorify his name to magnify him to say thank you Jesus thank you for the protection over my family Thank you, Father in heaven, for the provision that you have provided to us. Thank you, God, for your love and your mercy and your grace. Oh, God, I thank you. I thank you for who you are. I thank you, Father in heaven, for all that you have done in my life. I thank you, Father in heaven, for the blessings, Father in heaven, that have come through. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, God, because I know that you are God, that you are not like man, that you should lie. I know, God, that you will begin to move uh, in, in this side. I know that you are moving on the spiritual, uh, in the spiritual realm, and you will move and see uh, that we will begin to see the manifestations on this side. We thank you, God. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your unconditional love, that there's nothing that we could do that can make you love us more because we've already messed up in our sin, God, and you still sent your son to die on the cross for our sins. You've shown us so much love, a perfect love, a love that can never be compared, a love that we could never find on this earth, a love that is so potent and so powerful that Father in heaven, that it has eradicated and wiped us clean. And who the sun sets free is free indeed. So we thank you, God, that what the devil keeps trying to torment us with, we thank you, God, that what he continues to try and use to condemn us, that, God, you've told us that we have been set free, God. You've told us, Father in heaven, that we've been redeemed, that we've been uh, given a new name, God. You, you've told us, Father in heaven, that, that, that it is finished, Father. And so we thank you. We glorify you mag and magnify your holy name. There's none other like you. So just praise him. Praise him and thank him and talk to God. And, and lift up your voice to him. And tell him how good he is. Tell him how awesome he is. We thank you, Father in heaven. Because we know that there is none other like you in the heavens or on the earth. None who could ever compare to your power and your authority. None who could ever compare to your wisdom. None who can ever thwart your plans. None who could ever overtake your kingdom. None, God, who could ever snatch us out of the palm of your hands. We thank you, God, that what the devil meant for bad. Oh, God, you've turned it around for our good. And we thank you, Father, that you've gone ahead of us, God, to prepare the way. That if we would listen to you, if we would uh, line up to you, that you will give us the instruction and direction so that we will not stumble and fall but that we will continue to stand with our feet steadfast father unmovable planted on your word god like that house father in heaven that was built on solid rock that we won't be swayed by the winds or the, the waves but father in heaven we will stand strong and planted god 
able to, 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 to remember who we are so that the enemy cannot knock us down because he is going to try. He will try. But I'm telling you now, if you can get to a point on a regular basis to praise God, to praise him, you will grow spiritually. You will grow spiritually and you will find yourself strengthened. You will find yourself strong even during those midnight hours even when it seems as if the rain has not stopped pouring in your life but you will have a song and a word in your heart and that you will remember who god is that he is almighty god that he is true to his word he is faithful so praise him right now give him the glory that he deserves tell him thank you don't wait until you receive the blessing but praise him now while you are waiting for the blessing let him know that you believe him let him know that you surrender to his will and to his way oh i know it's not easy sometimes oh i know it feels as if the bottom is about to fall out oh i know it seems as if he leaves that that there's nothing else uh, or anyone else who will love you that is alive from the pits of hell and the blood of Jesus Christ is against it. Because God has made promises to you that you don't even know of. That you can't even hear because you have not aligned yourself to his will. Praise him. Lift up his name. He's worthy of it. We are his creation and he is the creator. He is worthy of it. He is sovereign in all his ways. He is just. He is mighty. He is God. Praise him. Lift up his name. Tell him how awesome he is. Give him praise and, and acknowledge his, his, his power in your life. Acknowledge and surrender to who he is. And being that we are nothing without him. If you believe that, then praise him like that. Praise him like you truly believe him. And every day, cut, I mean, remember when you are on your way to work, while you are sitting at your job, while you are at home watching television, while you are in your car, while you are on aisle number five at the grocery store, while you are pumping gas, wherever you may be, while you are sitting down at the restaurant, wherever, remember the God in which you serve. Remember what he has done in your life and is doing. When he has blessed you mightily, don't forget who that blessing has come from. Don't think it's been by your own hand. Don't think it's been by your own knowledge and education and, and, and name of where you come from as far as a family background. But praise him and recognize that if he so desired, he could take it away at any moment because it is all his anyway. It is all his. It's on loan to us and we need to learn how to be good stewards of it. So thank him. Praise him. Acknowledge him in all that you do. And begin to see God moving your life like never before. Praise Him. Worship Him. I cannot say it enough. He's worthy. Even if you have to do it with tears streaming down your face. Even if there's nobody else in your home who will praise God with you. Who will stand up alongside you and walk this Christian journey. If you have to do it all by yourself. Let me tell you, it's worth it. And you will, God will give you the strength like no other. And you may find yourselves at times lonely. You may find sometimes you wish you had someone beside you. But you will begin to recognize that the Holy Spirit who is in you. He is a comforter. He will give you what you need. He will strengthen you and raise you up. He will bless you. Because God sees. And he knows the heart. Ask God to create within you a clean heart. And to renew the right spirit within you. It's not until that I truly surrendered to God. It's, it's not until that I gave my life fully to Him. And I began to repent of my wicked ways on a regular basis. That I began to seek Him and to praise Him and to ask Him to clean me up. To change my heart. Uh, and even now when I feel a thought in, enter my mind or in my heart. And I recognize that it is not of God. I, I immediately, if Lord willing, I prayerfully immediately. And if not immediately, after it's played out a little bit, begin to recognize this is not of God. And repent of it playing so long in my, my mind uh, that I didn't stop it sooner. 
or uh, to begin to just say, God, cleanse me because I still recognize the wickedness in my heart and I need you. I will forever need you. I need you daily. I need you to be a good mother. I need you when the time comes again to be a good wife. I need you to be a good daughter. I need you to be a good sister. I need you to be a good servant of who you are. To love my brothers and sisters. I need you, God. We need the Lord. Praise Him like you do. Worship Him. Lift up your hands in surrenderance. Not close to you. Not like you really don't want to do it. And even if it takes it a while or a couple of days or whatever, get into His presence. Seek Him and ask God to change you. Because it's necessary. There's nobody can ever say they're good. There's nobody who can ever say that they don't need God's hand upon them to change them. There's, there's nobody who could say that I don't need to be on the potter's wheel for him to continue to mold me, to heal me, to, to resurrect me where I have been uh, downtrodden, where I have felt down, depressed, or just about ready to give up, where I didn't feel like I was able to be used anymore. God is able to use you, but let him clean you up. Let him mold and shape you. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It doesn't matter what you're going through. It doesn't matter what people have said to you or spoken over your life. When you trust God, he will open doors for you. You've heard me say this. He will open doors for you that no one can shut. Truly, truly he will. He will put your footing on a path that you can't even imagine you've heard me say this it is so true because you won't be able to comprehend how how did i get here god how 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 did i get in this position how far how god it's only been by your grace and your mercy how, how did i get through that divorce how father how did i allow it to come how did i get victory over it the Bible says when God, if God be for you, who can be against you? Who can be against you? And I don't care what that position of the individual is that is against you. Who can be against you? You fill in the blanks. Worship him. Get that into your spirit. Begin to do it on a regular basis. Watch and see how God will begin to move in your life. Watch and see how you will begin to undergo a transformation, that new creation in Christ Jesus, even more. When you allow God to have his hand in your life, his, his, to begin to work on you and mold you and shape, shape you and take out those things that shouldn't be there to begin with. And when you humble yourself enough to recognize I'm not worthy, when you humble yourself enough to say, God, I don't deserve it. When you humble yourself enough to say, I am truly a sinner saved by grace, this wretched heart of mine, this, this wretched woman or man in which I am, God, I don't deserve it. And I thank you for all that you've done for me. Worship him. Glorify him. Uplift his name. Tell him how awesome he is. Give thanks for all he's done in your life. And even again, thank him for what he is doing now that you can't see but he is working to your good in the spiritual realm oh glory to god oh thank you jesus just thank you father in heaven we magnify your name god thank you jesus how awesome you are god how wonderful you are i thank you father in heaven that you could have left me a long time ago but you continue to show up in my life god even though I continue to make some of the same old mistakes. You continue to save me from them, God. You continue, Father in heaven, to lift me up, God. Where I have feel, felt torn down, God, I thank you, Lord. You continue to be a provider to me, even when I don't understand how. How I'm making ends meet, God. Oh, glorify your holy name, Lord. And I magnify you. I worship you. For there's none other like you, God. For you are the one and only true and living God. You are holy and just in all your ways. You are God. And I thank you, Father. And I surrender to your will and to your way. For if it had not been for you on my side, oh God, where would I be? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Have your way, God. 
have you away, God. Heal families. Heal minds, Father. Heal hearts, God. Oh, remove the stubbornness, Father. Remove the pride, Father. And give us a heart of flesh so that we can begin to recognize and humble ourselves to the point that, Father in heaven, that we will lay prostrate before you and we will magnify you, recognizing that there is none other like you, none other who will be able to come after you to be like you, and none other, Father in heaven, who could ever take your place. There's no one and nothing. You deserve it all. We magnify you, God. Hallelujah. We give you the highest praise. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Take this time. Not just today. But every moment you get in your spirit to say thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. With every bill that you pay. Thank you Jesus. With every meal that you are able to prepare. Thank you Jesus. When I have the movement of my arms and my legs and I can walk. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. moving in your life to hope you're able to feel his love for you especially during those midnight hours especially when you people have told you you're nothing you're not smart you're not beautiful you're not going to be nothing it is too late for you it's not God is so awesome he is so good and he deserves it bless you and I pray that you will continue to lift up his name and continue to worship him for he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings he is the great I am he is God thank you Jesus God bless you